Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some bonitos. These were sent to us from Carrie in New York, so thank you very much to Carrie. Uh, these are the black bean tortilla chips in original sea salt, and then these are white bean tortilla chips in restaurant, these are restaurant style sea salt. And I have the white bean tortilla chips with a hint of lime. So first, I figured we would try the, the black bean. Um, these, it says, our tortilla chips are made from whole beans sourced directly from American farmers and transformed into crispy, delicious, fiber and nutrient filled bites uh, of plant-based protein. They are 33% fewer carbs than other tortilla chips. They're gluten-free, corn-free, and vegan. Five servings are in the container. One ounce, 28 grams, about 11 chips or 130 calories. And they are distributed by the Good Bean in Berkeley, California. And it says where they originated too. On the back. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, black uh, bean type black beans. They're from uh, uh, Nebraska and North Dakota and Michigan. Hmm. Wow, that's cool. That you know, because like we get bags of potatoes from mm -hmm. Scotland. And they'll tell you which farm it was on. <laughs> yes, and, and the people that are working on that farm. Yeah. So they must be there for like generations and generations yeah. for them to be confident enough they're going to stay to put their their name on the back. Uh, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. So these are the black bean with original uh, sea salt. I like the amount of salt. Mm -hmm. And I will say right now, I want to try it first. I don't care for black beans, um, but that does not bother me at all. Mm -hmm. It's not that really strong no. black bean flavor. No, because normally if something has black beans, I'll either order something else or I'll say, Can, could you please hold the black beans? Um, and that, yeah, that flavor, it's like a... It reminds me of a tortilla chip, but it has enough salt on it to mm -hmm. where the black beans don't interfere. Yeah, the texture is a little different than a corn tortilla. It's just it, it comes it's apart. Not as hard. A little bit. Yeah, it comes apart a little bit mm -hmm. easier. Um, but the flavor is nice. It doesn't taste like corn, of course, but it, but it doesn't taste like beans really. No, either. it uh, it's not <coughs> as crisp um, as crisp and hard as a uh, regular tortilla right. chip. While still being crisp, it's just not as crisp. As crisp, yeah. yes, exactly. So it's a good yeah, one. it still is crispy, and it would still be good. Uh, this would still absolutely work with salsa mm -hmm. or nacho cheese. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, absolutely. So now this is the white bean version. And these are called restaurant style sea salt, white bean tortilla chips. These are one ounce, 28 grams, 11 chips, 130 calories. And these come out of Nebraska and North Dakota, but not Michigan. And they still have a good texture. I like the texture of them. I really do um, like, it still has a crunch. It's mm -hmm. about the same as the black bean one. Mm -hmm. um, so it reminds you of a tortilla, but it does have a little bit of a a beanie kind of flavor. It's much stronger. So like, it's weird that I I do not like black beans. Like having a version, do not like the flavor. And the black beans were ones were fine with me. Those white bean ones, I taste the bean mm. and I don't care for the bean. Yeah, it tastes like you've had a bowl of soup beans. Mm, and I, I, I just, I would not buy those. Yeah, it's, it's, unless you're dipping them in something. Unless you're dipping them in something. If you're dipping them in something, I would say go for it because you're going to cover up the flavor. Yeah, or spring, breaking them up and sprinkling hunks of it over a soup or something. That, that would that work. Would that would absolutely work. But just to eat alone, I yeah, wouldn't eat those. I agree. Alone. And the yeah. salt level is not as high either. Now these are hint of lime. And they're white beans, so I'm wondering if that hint of lime's gonna cover up um, mm. some of that. It looks like it has some little seasonings in them or something. Um, these are one ounce, 20 grams, about 11 chips, 130 calories. Wow. The last ingredient is lime oil. That's the first ingredient you taste. Mm hmm. It adds a little, a little sharpness to it. If you like lime in your chips. I don't mind those. No. You don't taste the bean anymore. Mm -mm. 
Um, and the lime's not like overpowering, like like just, just overriding your whole taste bud. It's not like that because we've had them like that. Yes, it's, but it is pretty strong. It's very strong for me. So Kevin's like, it's not overriding. It's the first thing I taste, and now I still taste it. Yeah, the lime. But there are people who absolutely love lime in their chips, and you're gonna probably love these. Mm -hmm. If you mix that with the flavor of salsa, I can see where that would be really tasty. Yeah, dipping them in something. Yes. I would not, once again, eat these by themselves just no. because I don't want just lime. But lime and salsa, I can see where that would be really delicious. Yep, yep. I, do, I agree with you 100%. I wouldn't get the white bean ones again. The black bean ones, no, I don't mind them. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's, like I said, that's really, really funny. But if I was going to buy them just to eat them alone, I would choose the black bean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you're dipping in salsa, it really doesn't matter. But it's impressive that it has 33% fewer carbs. I think that's uh, that's great. So thank you again to Carrie for sending these to us. We have actually reviewed Benitos before on the channel. So if you type in Tammy Dunn Benitos, that other review will pop up for you. There's, there's lots of different flavors in that review. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.